A growing concern with the Oklahoma Army National Guard is soldiers seeking the rush experienced during deployment. Some of these soldiers obtain motorcycles without being properly trained in motorcycle safety, according to 90th Troop Command Commander Colonel Michael Thompson. They go into Afghanistan and go into Iraq and they survive and then they come back here and they get a, a sport motorcycle and then we end up going to a, a memorial service because they die here on the streets of Oklahoma, which just isn't right. This concern spawned 90th Troop Command's first Ride for Safety. On May 14, 2011, Guard members, supporters, and families gathered at the Lazy E Arena in Guthrie, Oklahoma. The riders took part in safety demonstrations, classes, and a ride that includes safety questions at each of the four stops. According to Major Kenneth Mitchell, the Oklahoma Army National Guard lost five soldiers to motorcycle accidents last year. These accidents could have been prevented if the soldiers were wearing proper safety gear and had been properly trained. Uh, we've had what's called closet riders. Those riders that are out there riding don't tell their units, they're not reported. The goal here is to get those closet riders to come forward and figure out that, yeah, I can ride, I can ride safely, and I can have fun uh, while wearing all the, the appropriate gear. Sergeant First Class William Hudson says safety was the main concern, but camaraderie was also present. Everybody seems to be in great spirits around here, having a good time. Well, Got to do this more often. For these riders, the event presented safety, a fun ride, and fellowship with other motorcycling soldiers. From the 145th MPAD and reporting for the Oklahoma Army National Guard, I'm Army PFC Alex Klein.